Hello and welcome to Physics Teacher. In this video, I'm going to go over my reasons for why I think everyone should learn at least a little bit of science. And then I'm going to show you a way to fact check information, which will be incredibly useful in a world where infinite information is literally available at your fingertips. And make sure you stay till the end because as promised, I'm going to show you how to win some free merch. I believe everyone should study some basic science, even if they don't want to be a doctor, engineer, or scientist. We all learn about the scientific process, where we perform experiments, observe the results, and alter our understanding. However, the most important part about science is learning how to question the world around you. Science teaches us to think and ask questions. This is helpful in all aspects of life. Einstein said that education is what remains after you've forgotten everything you've learned in school. Science can help teach you how to think, not just what to think. And that can help protect us in a world of constant All right, so now that I've told you why I think it's important everyone learn a little bit of science, let's go over how to determine if some information you saw online is real or not. We're going to become fact checkers. So it turns out that nearly half of Canadians have trouble determining whether or not something online is fact or fiction. And so I feel it's really important for me to teach about this type of fact checking because I feel that number is probably even higher. What do you think? So I found this advertisement online. What do you think? Real or not? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Obviously this is just a video and I can't tell whether or not you're giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but I want you to do it because I want you to commit to an answer. Is this um, frozen hot dog flavored popsicle real or not? Take a moment, analyze that picture, what do you think?
Now let's look at what a lot of us actually do when we look at it. Well, we look at common sense, right? A hot dog flavored popsicle? I don't know if I find that too appetizing. <laughs> um, but then I'll analyze the picture. And if you can see down here, it looks like, or at least there's part of the logo for Oscar Mayer. Maybe it's true, but then why is it cut off? So what actions would you take to actually verify whether or not this is real or not? Now, you've probably learned in school at some point or another the crap test. And although I think the crap test is important and we should still use it, the crap test usually involves analyzing the information just by looking at that information. And the problem is so much of that information online now is meant to look real. So instead of simply analyzing that piece of information or that poster or article, take a moment, open up another tab on your browser and start researching it elsewhere. And it's important to do this because fake news is difficult to identify. And we can have fake news into a couple categories. We can have misinformation and disinformation. Now, they're both wrong, but misinformation is not intentional. We have a person who's sharing it that actually believes that that information is true. And this can be due to some form of misunderstanding. Now, disinformation is deliberate. And the people who are creating it are trying to create confusion on what is true in order to influence how they think or act. An example could be a false rumor. So we need to stop and ask ourselves a couple questions. Who made that information and why? And whose perspectives are missing? So let's look at how we can become a fact checker. Take a look at this example. I want you to commit. Okay, real or not, seals with high-tech hats are collecting climate data in the Antarctic. So give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Commit right now, real or not. Okay, don't do a sideways. Real or not, up or down. So how are we going to actually figure this out? Couple ways. Uh, we can use a fact-checking website. Uh, if you haven't heard of Snopes, uh, just go to Snopes.com. It is amazing. And for example, I went to Snopes.com and I simply typed in cold dog. And what did I get? I got the information below. They did all the fact checking for me. They showed me their sources, the reliability, where it comes from. And it turns out it was a real thing that was real. How many of you got that one right? Okay, go check out that website if you haven't. And they create all sorts of articles about things that are popular in social media that you might think are real or not, and they will tell you whether they are. Another thing you can do is investigate the source. So look at the source. Where is this information coming from? In terms of seals with high tech hats, that actually comes from the Smithsonian Magazine. And you can look up our source for the Smithsonian Magazine. Um, you can even do it on Wikipedia. Wikipedia usually has a great information on the side that tells you all about that source. So, yes, looks like that one is also real. How many of you thought real? Okay. Right. Lastly, always look for other sources. Okay. There are lots of great resources. Um, Gale Online Resources is a great one. Um, that one does cost money, but if you're part of an educational institute or if you go to your public library, they may have that available to you to access for free. So go check it out because they have great resources of research that has been done in many areas that you can actually look up. So I hope my quick rundown on how to fact check is going to help many people fact check what is real and what is not so that we can stop sharing misinformation. All right, if you're still with me, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want to win some free merch, all you need to do is put one of two comments below in the video. The first option is to tell me your own reason as to why you think people should learn science. Or if you have a different method for fact checking information, let us know what that is in the comments. Anyone who leaves a comment about one of these two things, will immediately get their name put into a random name generator. And then in about two weeks, I'm going to announce the winner on my channel in the community tab. 
So make sure you check that so if you can see if you won some free merch. Good luck.